Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. Today's video I am updating you on my 2020 makeup inventory. So I've done all my declutters for 2020, I've done all my empties, I've taken them out. These are the updated totals at the end of that. I have not, I'm going to vlog the process of taking my 2021 starting inventory. Um, so this does not include stuff that I got for Christmas basically, which still needs to be added in. This is very much like I sort of froze um, my inventory on the 24th of December type thing and I've taken off what I've taken off within the year. Um, any like replacements or anything that I bought are added on, it's just basically stuff I got for Christmas that's not been added on yet. Um, so there will be a 2021 inventory that the starting figures for which will be different to this but this is this is basically how I affected my figures with my habits in 2020 so let's get into it i'll go through hair care first because there's the least amount of categories in that one so at the start in terms of pre-shampoo treatments i opened with one i did aim to use it up i didn't so i closed off with one as well shampoos i opened with 16 i aimed to use two and I actually used three, so I was very pleased with that. I ended with 13, so no more came in during 2020. Um, and the starting value of my shampoo was $317.61, and the closing value was $238.37. And um, so it was three full size shampoos that I finished, basically, is how I'm interpreting those figures which I'm very very pleased with. Obviously I've set quantity usage goals rather than value based usage goals but sometimes it's nice to see that the value figures change more than the quantity maybe indicates if I've used um, more full size things and sometimes it's not so nice to see that it changes less if I've used loads of minis. That, that's a nice change in the value. Conditioners opened up with $412.97 worth of conditioner that translated to 17 quantity wise. My aim was to use up seven and I did manage that, I used up seven. However, I finished with 12, so that indicates that two came into my stash during 2020 and the closing value is $329.25. But I did use up seven, I set a usage goal and I hit it, so I'm pleased with that one. I exceeded it for shampoo, even though I didn't hit it for pre-shampoo. So in a way the sort of washing part of my hair routine I have hit my goals on. Sort of. Arguably. Exfoliators I opened with two at $71. Didn't set a goal to use any of them up and didn't use any of them up so no change there. Hair masks I opened with five worth $98.20 and I aimed to use up four. I used up one. Um, so I feel like maybe I was a little bit ambitious to be fair setting a goal of using seven conditioners and five hair masks given that I wash my hair once a week. Um, you know, that was maybe, maybe that was a little bit far reaching to start with. So yeah, I used up one, hopefully in 2021, I'll pay that category a little bit more attention, but it means I'm closing off with four worth $73.20. In shower treatments, I opened with one worth $9.99. I aimed to use it up and I didn't, so I'm closing it off the same. Heat protectants, I opened with six worth $150.79. I aimed to use up two and I didn't use up any. Obviously, these figures are throughout all the categories affected by 2020 being the year of the global pandemic. So I didn't use as much is of a lot of stuff as I thought I would in terms of like styling products and things. Um, so I feel like with heat protectant, I didn't actually use it very much this year because I tended to just wash my hair and let it air dry and I wasn't styling it a lot unless I was like filming a video or you know on the brief periods when lockdown was, was lifted and I was going somewhere. So I'm, I'm not surprised by the lack of movement in some of these, but it is what it is. Still reporting back, still, I want to finish this off properly so I'm still telling you the figures. In terms of leave-in conditioners slash detanglers, I opened with three worth 52.74. 
I didn't intend to use any of them up and I didn't use any of them up. I'm closing off with the same amounts. Hair oils I opened with three worth $84. I didn't intend to use any up and I didn't use any up. So again, closing off the same. Serums and treatments I opened with six worth $161.48. Didn't aim to use any up, didn't use any up. Surprise, surprise. Then into blow dry products. So blow dry balms I opened with six worth $75.37. I aimed to use up two and I didn't use up any, so I'm finishing off the same. Blow dry sprays I opened with six worth $53.30. I was aiming to use up four and I used up three. Um, so I'm closing that off with three left worth $40.71. Basically, I think what I did learn through 2020, especially because I wasn't styling my hair very often or blow drying it, is that I really like blow dry sprays far more than I like balms or mousses. I like just being able to spray something into my hair, brush it through and get on with it because then I'm not putting something in my hands to then have to put it through my hair makes my hands sticky, I have to go wash them. It sounds like a really small thing, but basically sprays just let me kind of get on with it rather than having to put it in my hair and then interrupt it to go wash my hands. And um, so I feel like that's something that going forward I need to remember is that I don't tend to reach for balms or mousses. I like sprays for ease of use. That's a lesson. In terms of mousse, I opened with six worth $80.23. Aimed to use up one, but I didn't use up any, so I'm closing off with the figures exactly the same. Texture spray, I opened with four worth $101.10. I set no usage goals and I didn't finish any of them off, so I finished still with four worth the same amount. Dry shampoo slash conditioner, I opened with five that were worth $91.04. Aimed to use up to and I did use up to. Closed off with three worth $73.50. So hit my goal there, quite happy with that. Miscellaneous styling, I opened with seven products worth $100.80. I aimed to use up two products and I used up one. So I'm closing off with six products worth $78.80. I'm really sorry, I feel like for most of this video I will be looking at these pieces of paper. So I'm sorry, it feels like such an anti-social video, but I did tell you the opening figures and I did go through my goals with you at the start of the year so I do want to round this off but that's that's partly why I want to vlog it for 2021 just so that it's a little bit more of a more of a video when I'm talking to you guys or at least where if I'm I might do it so that I'm off screen and you're looking at the products as I discuss them and um, but just generally so that it's something a little bit more visually stimulating than me reading off of a sheet of paper that's that's the plan. Moving on, hairspray I opened with six worth $92.07. I aimed to use up three and I did use up three. So that's left me with three to finish off at $78.95. And um, so it does indicate there's three minis from the kind of quanti from the value change, but hit the quantity goals and that's the main thing. I also know I'm really close to finishing up one of my big hairsprays. Um, so I feel like I'll finish it quite early in 2021 and then we'll be down to only having two which is obviously one is preferable to having two in terms of it being hairspray it does one job but I feel like that's us on the home stretch once I've got it down to just two so I'm all right with that and then sashi samples I opened with two aimed to use them both up and did use them both up overall I opened 2020 with 102 hair products worth $1,985.89 and um, I aimed to use up 33 of those and I used up 22 so I fell short by 11 um, and I closed off with 84 products worth $1,730.66 Obviously fell short of my usage goals. In retrospect, looking at what 2020 was, I'm not surprised about that. But I'm pleased that I used up what I used up. But I'm hoping 2021 I can really like get through quite a lot of hair care products. So hoping to make some bigger dents next year, basically. On to skincare. Face makeup removers, I opened 2020 with seven, worth $122.95. I aimed to use up seven and I actually used up eight. So obviously I repurchased and used something up and I'm finishing off with two worth $35. So pleased with that. Eye makeup removers, I opened with three worth $49. I aim to use up three and I used up two so I'm closing off with one worth $40. I'm okay with that because my aim would have been to use up three and to then replace those 
three that I'd used up with one so there would have always been it was never a category that I was going to get down to being zero anyway and um, there would have always been one in stock so I've got one in stock and that's fine. Cleansers opened with 26 cleansers worth $444.21. I aim to use up 10 and I used up 7. Closing off with 19 left worth $354.68. Toner I opened with 6 worth $104.37. I aim to use up 3 and I did use up 3. So I'm closing off with 3 left worth $44.50. Hit my goal, totally happy. Essence, I didn't have any to start with, but I did say even in my opening inventory that I wanted to bring that back into my life, and I did, and I used up two, and I'm finishing with two. Um, so the two that I've got in stock now are worth $69.20. Serums, I opened with three worth $148, and I did say I wanted my serums to actually go up this year. Now I aim to use up three because obviously I thought I'd finish those three and replace them, which I did, and I actually finished up 12 serums um, this year and I decluttered one and I'm finishing 2020 with four serums worth $249.25. So I'm perfectly happy. I did say with my serums I felt I was missing a couple of things. So I said if they increased in quantity I'd be okay with that. I feel like for the most part, especially these, not I've got too much cleanser, but I feel like these sort of middle parts, like essence and serum, I feel like I've kind of got them under control. So I'm, I'm not bothered about what goes on there because I feel like they're obviously the categories from how much I've used up, that's what I'm moving through. So I feel like that's, I'm not too worried about it. I'm more worried about things where I've brought stuff in and had so much of it that it's sitting there and it's, you know, if I've got like, you know, for example, cleansers, which I opened the year with 26 of, and if I can use seven in a year, that's left me with 19. Um, so if I'm using seven a year, that means I've got essentially like, the best part of three years worth of cleanser left there now obviously it's not as simple as that and like you know some of those cleansers are minis which is not the equivalent of using up like a full size or whatever so it's not quite as clear cut as that but that's more what I'm bothered about than things that are down to sort of single figures and where I've used up more in the year than I've got at the end of the year if that makes sense. Facial oils I opened with six worth $148.97. I aim to use up three and I used up one, so fell very short there. So I'm finishing off with five worth $136.73. Although I didn't finish off as many as I planned, I did get good usage out of the other two that I'd kept down this year, so Again, I'm hoping they'll finish quite early into 2021. Eye cream I opened with 21 worth $443.70. I aim to use up 16 and I used up 10. So that's left me with 14 worth $356.03 to finish with. I'm okay with that because especially with, although I'm calling them eye cream, it's eye products. So there's also like single use eye masks and things in there. So I feel like by the end of 2021, that category will be under control. Moisturiser, I opened with 32 worth $778.78. And I aimed to use up seven and I used up eight. So I'm pleased with that. I obviously went by my goals there. And it's left me with 26 moisturisers worth $556.31. SPF, I opened with one worth $65. I aimed to use it up and I did use it up and I've replaced it, so I've got one worth $48 now. So under control is category, not worried about SPFs anymore. Face masks, I opened with 42 worth $896.17. I didn't set a usage goal, but I was low key hoping to use quite a lot up, um, and I only used four up, so it's left me with 38 worth $873.71. Sheet masks, I opened with 35 worth $193.47. I used up 21, which has left me with 16 worth $109.23. Pleased with the way sheet masks have moved. It is, it's similar to the hair conditioners, hair masks situation where if I'm using sheet masks, I'm not using my like normal face masks that come in like tubes and tubs and they are going to go off quicker. So I feel like I do want to prioritise them more next year, but yeah, 
good movement is, is good. We like movement. In terms of miscellaneous treatments, I opened with eight worth $393.20. I didn't set a usage goal, but I did use up one, which has left me with seven worth $389.20. So whatever I used up was obviously like a little mini. Exfoliators and peels, I opened with 12 worth $291.75. I set a usage goal of eight to finish this year. I finished two, so failed a little bit there. And I am leaving off with 11 worth $365.45. Retinols, I opened with three worth $169. I didn't set a usage goal and I didn't use any up, so I'm closing that category off the same as I opened it. Facial sprays, I opened with four worth $38.48. I aimed to use up three and fell very short and used up none. So closing off with the same quantity and value there. Body scrubs I opened with five worth $111.64. I aimed to use up all five and I fell short. I finished up three of them, which means I've closed off with two worth $81.59. I feel like if I'd been going out more, I would have maybe exfoliated more, but as it was, it is what it is. So I'm not you know it is what it is I'm sure I'll definitely use those two up next year without any problems so it's fine body wash I opened with five worth $134.50 um I aim to use them all up this year and I fell a bit short I used up three so I've left myself with two worth $80.50 basically what's going on here is that the two that I've got left one of them is a Guerlain one which uh, is the one Guerlain body wash which obviously matches in with Mon Guerlain perfume and body lotion which I have in my stash and I feel like it's just so expensive that I just only want to use it when I'm using the three products together. I don't really want to use it as a daily shower gel and the other one's another, it's not the same but it's another sort of high-end shower gel. It's from Davines, it's like a shower oil which I really really like but again I feel like it's too special to use it as my everyday body wash so I'd started using cleansers that I don't like much for my face as body wash there so I'm okay with the fact I didn't actually finish five within a year and I, ugh, I'm between a rock and a hard place where I know I should definitely finish those two next year because they will expire at some point um so I'd, I'd be as well getting the use of them but it's just like it's teaching me never to buy fancy shower gel again because I'm too precious about it and it feels like and I feel like I know when I'm using up other things that I'm putting them on my face and I am using them up but I feel like shower gel in particular feels so blatantly like it's going straight down the drain that it makes me really sort of Scrooge-esque about like using up really expensive ones so that's a lesson for going forward is no more expensive shower gel for me because I would actually rather use up a face wash than a shower gel which is ridiculous as a statement but at least at the moment I'm using face washes that I'm not keen on using on my face rather than using up expensive face washes that I like. I'm not doing that just to be clear. Body masks I opened with three worth $96. I didn't set any usage goals but I used one up um, which means I'm closing off with two worth $60. I feel like the fact I used one up is reflected in not using up another body scrub as well because it was a mask with sort of scrubby particles to it. So I ended up, I spoke about this when I talked about that mask in my empties, but I ended up using it up more as a body scrub um, rather than kind of leaving it on properly as a body mask the way it was intended to be used. I'm pleased to have used one of them up and worked it out my stash. Bath products I opened with $55.80 worth of products which was across two products. I used up two this year but that was two bath bombs that I used um, that I bought and used within one holiday. You know when I went to I feel like holiday is not the right word when I went for a two night overnight in, or a three night overnight in Edinburgh. It's not quite a holiday is it but anyway it is what it is. So I'm finishing off still with two worth $55.80. Body moisturiser I opened with 29 worth $890.91. I aimed to use up six and I passed that goal. I used up eight so I'm really pleased with that. And that has left me with 21 worth $743.61. Hand products 
I opened with 11 worth $145.69. I didn't set a usage goal and I used up four, so I'm left with seven products worth $119. Foot products opened with six worth $68.09. I aim to use up four and I actually used up seven, which means I closed off with one foot product left worth $6.60. So I feel like we're good. I feel like foot products are under control. Perfume, one of my very big categories. I opened with 28 perfumes worth $2,935.48. I aim to use up six and I only used up two. And I obviously got something for my birthday or something because the quantity's gone up more than that. I've got 27 worth $2,932.35 to finish with. Um, the good thing about fragrance is that I had put four into my project pan um, and although I've only used up two, I only used up one from the project pan, I can't even think what the other one I've used up is, but I've got three from my project pan that are now so close to being done that they will be done really early into 2021 without me making any like effort to use them. They'll just naturally be finished when I wear them when I fancy it kind of thing so I know that perfume will go that might be a lie I was gonna say I know that my perfume will go down in 2021 but I got a lot of perfume for Christmas I asked for it it's my own fault um but I wasn't I was expecting choices to be made about options that I'd said oh I like this one this one this one and this one and I was really really spoiled this Christmas I got a lot of what I asked for far more than I expected to get. So perfume, yeah, I don't think perfume's gonna go down. I think perfume's gonna be massively up on the opening next year. Um, and yeah, I've got too much perfume, but I really love perfume, it's a real weakness of mine, but it is what it is. So hopefully I will at least be finishing off at least three next year, but as a percentage of my actual collection, I don't know. Don't really know what using three perfumes up is really going to actually mean, like, to the grand scheme of things. It is what it is. Sashes, I opened with 24. I aim to use up 24 and I actually used up 25. And I'm closing off with two sashes. So, I've been better at working through the sashes samples this year. That's a, like, big thing for me next year is I just want to be somebody that when I get sashes samples in, I just use them up pretty instantly and get rid of them. I don't want them kicking about. You know, I don't want to have to be making space on my dressing table as being like, this is the area that I keep my sashy samples in. Like, I just want them, if I get them, I just want them to move out really quickly. So that's how I feel about sashes. Anyway, in terms of closing figures, I opened 2020 with 322 products worth $8,749.16 and I'm closing it off with 222 products. The overall quantity has gone down by exactly 100 which is nice and it's gone down to $7,916.22. Good reduction, happy with that. I feel like maybe next year I'll maybe make perfume a separate inventory because I feel like I feel like my perfume figures are really skewing my overall skincare and it's not skincare I put it, I put perfume in with skincare because you spray it on your skin and because I get perfume adjacent products like the Mon Guerlain Shower Gel and Body Lotion for example. It's, so I kind of wanted to keep them together but I feel like it's adding a lot of quantity and value onto my inventory that isn't really reflective of things like active skincare that if I don't get moving through it is going to go off kind of thing. I feel like maybe perfume needs to be separate. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me know what you think. Should perfume be a separate category on its own? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, on to the big one. I say the big one, it's the one with the least amount of change, but it's the most categories, so it is what it is. Um, so on to makeup, obviously, being the big one. In 2020 I did not wear as much makeup as I would normally have worn because I wasn't going into the office, I was working from home for most of the year, I wasn't really being sociable and going out at weekends and stuff so the way that that's impacted is, is that I've realised as much as I really enjoy makeup and I do really enjoy makeup I feel like I've actually really reconnected with how much I actually enjoy makeup since getting into like sort of beauty rehab. It's, it has made me realise how much I enjoy using it when I use it as opposed to 
enjoying accumulating it so I feel like my mind although I was about to say I feel like my mindset's really shifted around it but with the amount of stuff I asked for for Christmas I don't know if that's actually true or not like I feel like I'm not out accumulating it but I'm still seeing things and being like oh I want to own that like I feel like when I got to Christmas this year and I'm really wary of coming across really spoiled sounding here even though I was really spoiled for full disclosure I know I was but because 2020 is such a different year and people couldn't get out and shop and things like that I was really directly asked like send us lists of what you want and we'll you know pick what to get from it kind of thing um, and I just like literally try to give as many options as possible and I did not for a minute think that I was going to get as much of it as I got um, you know I had absolutely no expectation to receive what I received for Christmas um, so I'm really really grateful all of that kind of stuff I don't want to come across like I'm not but yeah there was immediately as soon as I was asked for that I was like oh this Charlotte Tilbury stuff and this stuff from whatever and this palette and whatever like it was a lot of makeup that sort of sprung to mind you know to ask for for Christmas but having said that I am very excited to use it whereas I feel like before I just the excitement was the buying it and the accumulating it and it was particularly I've spoken about this before but it was particularly at that moment when I handed over my card or cash you know back in the days when we used cash it was particularly that moment and then I got a bag with the thing in it that was that was where the joy peaked for me was that moment but does I feel like now I actually really I really enjoy using stuff because I used to just bring stuff home that is how we got into these kind of figures to start with is that I used to just bring stuff home and then I would like put it and stuff it in my wardrobe or whatever still in the bag you know and not look at it for ages so I feel like I do now really enjoy using makeup so that has changed but also what I realised this year is that as much as I do enjoy putting makeup on when I put it on and I have fun with it it's not like a main hobby for me that I would sit down and be like I'm just going to play with my makeup when I'm not going anywhere what does I feel like when I was like a teenager or whatever like you know sometimes I would come in from school and be like I'm just gonna get myself really dressed up and like when I started going out you know like properly when I was like 18 like if I had a new dress and I knew I wanted to like a smoky eye with it or something for going out the weekend like I would come in from uni and like practice what I wanted to do that Saturday you know generally I would like find a makeup tutorial on YouTube actually and I would sit and kind of follow it because I never wanted like the Saturday that I was going out or whatever to be the first time that I'd attempted it so I would like get the makeup tutorial up on like Monday when I planned what I was wearing that weekend and I would practice it like every night that week just sitting in my bedroom or whatever like not sometimes I would then go on to Silverburn or whatever with my parents like looking like I was fully done for a Saturday night but I used to do that and I just don't now I've just I'm too busy there's other things I'd rather do I'm too old I'm too tired I don't have that much energy anymore and um, so unless I'm putting makeup on to film or to go somewhere I very rarely put it on just to sit in the house like there was days during lockdown I would put it on just to go out a walk and um, you know like I would just do it and then be like mm, I can just walk about the street and anyone that sees me will be like oh that's nice purple smoky eye she's got going on um, you know I've, I did do it sometimes but I really can't think of one occasion where I just put makeup on to sit in my house like I really I just don't do it anymore I don't just play with it for the sake of it and 2020 has really highlighted that to me because I've seen how little I've used this year even in as much as I have far too much makeup and I'm never going to be the person who uses up a ton within a year because I feel like rotating is still far more important and um, even categories that I would usually have worked through like base products and things I haven't worked through but I would expect to normally so yeah I think that's really highlighted for me that like I probably wear makeup less than I think I do in a normal year 
because I know I don't often bother with it if I'm having a weekend in the house or even for work like sometimes I'll put makeup on for work sometimes I won't like I'm not one of those people that needs to have makeup on their face every day so I'm glad I've been on my no buy now for three years in terms of beauty because I definitely was if I continued buying I wasn't buying in a sustainable way obviously I had really problematic buying behaviours but even if I had continued buying like at the rate that I was when I was just into makeup but not buying in a problematic way like back maybe at the start of my uni days or whatever like if I continued with that like I would be a riot right now like I'd be swimming and stuff so yeah anyway that went off on a tangent that was not me telling you about my inventory update so let's just talk figures I'm going to do a proper makeup rehab wrap up video separately to this um where I'll talk about like the the goals and the plans that I set out at the start of this year and how I've kind of whether I've achieved them or not how I feel about them etc so there'll be more chat in that video let's just do figures again so on to makeup face primer I opened with 12 worth 347 dollars and 93 cents I aim to use up seven and I used up two. So I'm finishing off with 10 worth $337, which indicates the two I used up were minis or samples as well. So not great, but as I said, 2020 is what it was. Uh, foundation I opened with 13 worth $513.64. I aim to use up four and I used up three. So I finished off with 10 worth $464.85. Not great, but at least more than I did in terms of primers. Corrector I opened with four worth $106.79. I aimed to use up two and I did. So I finished off with two worth $79. And that's me, I'm now down to having one green color corrector and one pink one, which I'm really, really happy with. So corrector is under control. We're happy, it's the one makeup category I'd say that's under control. Concealers I opened with 12 worth $265.19. I aim to use up three and I fell short of that, I used up two. So I closed off with 10 concealers worth $252.60. I feel like with concealer I'm gonna use quite a few next year. I feel like I have a lot of concealer that I've used this year that I've not finished. Um, because I feel like even days that I didn't wear if I was just going out a walk and I was putting on a bit of makeup, I was maybe not using foundation, but I would use concealer. So I feel like concealer will go down quite a lot next year. Fingers crossed. Powders, I opened with 17 powders worth $492.99. I aimed to use up two and I didn't. I finished off with exactly the same quantity and value. So it's what it is. Contour, I opened with three worth $76.86, didn't aim to use any up and didn't use any up, so that's finishing off exactly the same. Bronzers are the same story, opened with nine, worth $109.69, closing off the same. Blush, I opened with 93 blushes, it's a big category, worth $1,641.86. I didn't aim to use any up and I didn't use any up, but I did declutter two, and I'm finishing with 91 blushes, worth $1,574.26 and I have two blushes in my project pan for 2021 so stay tuned for a project pan intro but there are two blushes in there so we'll see if I manage that or not and still manage to get use of the others. Highlight is another big category not anything like as bad as blush but bad. I have 46 highlights to open 2020 with worth $918.71 I aimed to use up one and I did use up one and I also decluttered four and um, so that's left me with 41 highlights worth $799.61 so that's moved in a nice direction. I've got a highlight in my project pan but I feel like at least with highlights it's now down to like nearly under 40. If I used if I decluttered one and used up one this year I'd be down to being under 40 so We'll see if that happens. Eye primer, I opened with nine worth $138.95. Aimed to use up two and didn't, so finishing off exactly the same as I opened. Eye crayons, I opened with 20 worth $526.03. 
um, I didn't aim to use any up and I didn't use any up but I did declutter four. Finishing off with 16 worth $483.44. Eyeshadow singles I opened with 97 worth $1746.50. I aimed to finish up one and I did finish that one up. I think it was one of the steel uh, glitter and glows. Um, and I also decluttered 17 so I've taken my eyeshadow singles down to a total of 80 and those 80 are worth $1,449.52. Then on to eyeshadow palettes. So small palettes I opened with 22 worth $1,087.05. I didn't use up any but I decluttered three so I'm finishing off with 19 worth $929.61. So that's palettes that are like two to five eyeshadows and then I've got eyeshadow palettes which is like six plus shadows so your sort of full size palettes. I opened 61 of those worth $2,576.31. I wasn't aiming to use any up because pan that palette is just so far in my future that it's you know not even conceivable at the moment to do anything like that and still be using up other things but I did declutter six so I'm pleased with that that's six out I did get some in so I'm finishing with 56 I say some one um I did get one for my birthday so I'm finishing off with 56 palettes worth $2,312.37 eyeliners I opened with 82 worth $1,284.96 I aimed to use up one and I didn't use up one but I did declutter four and um, so it still went down it's down to 78 and they are worth $1,214.96. I feel like just reading that is making me think about the fact I don't have eyeliner on today and um, I need to definitely be better at my eyeliners. Mascara I opened with 24 worth $389.45. I aimed to use up six and I didn't use up six. I used up four. But I did go on and also declutter two. So I had two that were unopened that I passed on. Um, so I'm finishing off with 19 mascaras worth $331.24. Mascara again, I felt like I would use six up just in terms of I have a lot of mascara minis. That's why the quantity of that sounds really high because you seem to get given mascara in every gift with purchase. Like giving it samples all the time, get it in sets, like I don't have as many full size, it's not that I'm sitting with 19 full size mascaras, so I did think last year I would have used up more than I did, but again, I wore makeup less, so it is what it is. Brow products I opened with 18 worth $377.64, aim to use up four, didn't use up any, did declutter one, so closing off with 17 products worth $369.64. I feel like at the moment I can't, I don't think I've spoken about this, but I've got really into like powder in my brows rather than using my brow pencils. And powder is um, an economically wonderful product for your brows because it goes on and on. I've not even hit pan in the brow powder that I'm using, which is the benefit um, browsings like the little dual powder and wax scenario. I never use the wax but I use the powder and I've been using it for the best part of a year and haven't hit pan on it. I feel like if the year had been normal and I'd been at work I would have worked through brow pencils because they're quicker and easier so that's what I tend to use in mornings when I'm getting ready and have to be out the door at a certain time but I feel like this year I've really kind of fallen for the brow powder because there's not been as much of a rush to get out half the time because I'm not going anywhere most of the time or I've not been going anywhere most of the time and um, so I've been taking my time with the powder and I've been really enjoying it but I've not even hit pan on it so brow powder is way forward if you want to make your products last and save loads of money. Lip balms and primers I opened with 24 worth $343.06. I aimed to use up 10 and I felt very short I used up five, finishing with 19 worth $293.21. Lip liners, so we're getting into lip things are big for me. Lip liners I opened with 58 lip liners worth $915.41. Didn't set any usage goals and I didn't use any up but I did declutter one. So I am finishing, I also got 
two in so I'm finishing with 59 so it's gone up worth $957.41. Lipsticks, I don't even want to look at this one. I started with 157 lipsticks worth $3,021.17. I didn't use any up but I did declutter 17 so that sounds really good but I got some for my birthday. Um, so the closing of 2020 was 147 lipsticks worth $2,918.43 and I got lipsticks for my Christmas as well so I know lipsticks are probably just going to be as bad next year as they were this year in terms of maybe I didn't quite get 10 lipsticks to be fair hopefully the quantity will be overall down. We'll see. We'll see what the 2021 inventory opening brings. Liquid lipsticks I opened with 55 worth $783.64. I didn't use any up which I wasn't expecting to obviously but I did declutter 17 as well so 17 lipsticks and 17 liquid lipsticks. Strange number. I also decluttered 17 eyeshadow singles. 17 seems to have been like the number. So that has left me with 39 liquid lipsticks worth $625.78 so I am pleased at that reduction. On to lip glosses I opened with 30 worth $675.99. Aimed to use up four. I used up one so I fell short of the goal but at least I used up something. So I used up one and I didn't declutter any. Closed off 2020 with 29 lip glosses worth $667.99 and I have four lip glosses in my project pattern for 2021 so hopefully after this year lip glosses will be getting under control. Then I've got my other category which is like face palettes and sort of random things that didn't really fit in anywhere else eh, like setting spray and stuff and I opened with seven items in that category worth $283.57 and I didn't aim to use any up and I didn't use any up or decluttered any so I finished off with the quantity and values being the same as the opening. And then in terms of sashi samples I opened up with three, aimed to use them up and I did use them up so there are no makeup sashi samples in my stash which I'm pleased about because as I said I really don't want sashi samples being a thing that starts kicking about in my life again. I really want to be on top of that as a category. Totals, my 2020 opening makeup stash was 876 products worth $18,626.41. I aimed to use up 50 and I fell way short of that. I used up 24 so we fell very short of the, the usage aim. Um, but I did declutter 78 products and I didn't set any decluttering goals because I just think that's a bit silly. I feel like you need to declutter things because you're ready to part with them, not to hit a certain goal. I feel like hitting goals to declutter. Having said that, I did that in my Christmas declutter, but it was to try and add that bit of pressure to kind of, if there were things that I was kind of willing to let go of, but not quite, it was to try and give me that extra kick to do it, not to force myself to declutter something that I didn't want to declutter. So like I can see why people do it but I feel like it's not overall something I want to do that often. Um, but I am really pleased to see I decluttered 78 things this year. And then I have mucked up the values and totals at the end. Okay I can't, I can't, I can't update you on what I finished with. That's really frustrating. I've like, I've mucked up if you can see. Like I've started this as being like a quantity and values and then switched to quantity and values. So the totals, the totals at the bottom will not be accurate. That's annoying. But I suppose it keeps it a surprise for my 2020 makeup rehab all in video. Fact. Maybe I can tell you. Give me a second. I can tell you. It's all right. I've got the, the overall totals here. So makeup all in. I used $256 worth of makeup and decluttered $1,519.90 worth of makeup. And I used up 25 items and decluttered. I've written 77 on here. This is why I do a new inventory every year because I've written that I've decluttered 77 on here. I've counted 78 that I've decluttered on here so 
it kind of over the year can get a bit squidgy. This is why I do a new one at the start of the year. So I, I don't know where that discrepancy has come from. Let's just pretend that we didn't discover it. A new total is 787 items worth $17,162.94. So I did reduce it down quite a bit. Arguable bit because obviously some of my calculations have gone ski with but um, not a numbers person is what it is. Uh, so yeah it has gone down a bit. Obviously I want to reduce it further. It's definitely going to be on the up from that closing number when I add in what I got for Christmas. I'm hoping it won't be on the up from what it opened um, 2020 as but I could see it being so particularly because I didn't go through the usage that I planned this year. But hopefully 2021 I've got a project pan planned, I've got more makeup rehab behaviours planned um, and I do have, I had my no buy budget year this year and I do have a new project in place next for, well for this year but I've started it but you don't know what it is yet. It is 2021. Stay tuned for all of that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's a lot of figures and a lot of me reading off a sheet so I really appreciate it if you've watched through to the end. I feel like it must have been quite a hard going one to listen to um, but thank you so much for doing so and I will see you in my next video. Bye.